You fight hard, Seeker. We would be dead if I did not.
been taking notes on all this, Varric. Well, you'll need to be more specific there, Seeker. The Inquisition. You're not planning to write a book about us, are you? Oh, don't get your hopes up. You're not that interesting a subject. Thank you. I, I appreciate you finding her, and I'll see to it that this never happens again. I assume you've heard about Prince Sebastian, Varric. I know he invaded Kirkwall. Are you going to blame me for that, too? I wasn't trying to. You weren't trying to remind me how bad it is in Kirkwall, so you decided to talk about it? I thought you might be concerned. It is your home. Of course I'm concerned. I don't need you prodding me with a stick to prove it. Master Dennett's wife warned us about. That cave could be the lair of our strange wolves.
With the demon dead, the farmers could be safe from the wolves. I expect the wolves are also pleased to be freed from the demon's control. That crossbow is remarkable, Varric. I am surprised the dwarves have not made more of them. The woman who made Bianca would rather that not happen. Wars are bloody enough as it is. A crossbow that fires this far and this quickly, with so little training, every battle would be a massacre. Indeed. I am surprised, not disappointed. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. Redcliff Village should be just ahead. The village is off limits. There's been too much fighting between Templars and mages. Take it elsewhere. We're not with the Templars or the mages. We're agents of the Inquisition. You could be anyone. You think I don't know what don't open the gates means? If you're from the Inquisition, prove it. Until then, the gates stay closed. We're not here to cause trouble. Then you can leave. Easiest way not to cause trouble, isn't it? The gates stay shut until I get orders otherwise. Move along. Very well. 
we'll leave. Andraste protect you, traveler. See reason, Lissette. We cannot stay here. Why not? Because we're Templars. What does that even mean anymore? That we splinter and fight amongst ourselves instead of protecting the mages? Better that than stay here with this Inquisition. You're awfully quick to dismiss the people who saved your life, Matrim. You're the one they're calling the Herald. You don't sound happy about that. I'm not. You are a mage, and magic was meant to serve man, not rule him. Yet here you are, testing that core tenet of the Chantry. I did not join the Order to adjust my faith so easily, but I appreciate what the Inquisition is trying to do, and your role. Though you may find not many Templars do. We're a distrustful lot by nature. I'd like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. Assumption Scout Palane. Our maker sees this with a heavy No heart. Circle Mage has ever caused anything like the breach. What kind of name is Charter, anyway? Doesn't sound ill. Master Harry said that without more ore, he won't be able to get blades for the recruits. Tell Master Harry that ore doesn't grow on trees. Yes, Mom. Nice work with those supplies. The smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, but our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Farewell. Make a go with you. Can I help you with something? Farewell. Make a go with you. Thanks for checking, anyway. Your kind killed the most holy! Lies! Your kind let her die! 
Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might, if your Inquisition would recognize the Chantry's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return, I hope. With passioned breath does the darkness creep? It is the whisper Researcher Minave wishes to verify that the, the infections have decreased in number. Yes. Thank you for your help. Tell me, are you happy this way? With everything With you feel and dream cut away? I no longer talk to dragons. It is the whisper in the I night, see. The lie Make girl go with you. Sleep. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Well, you know how these things go. At least, I hope someone does. You love to bring a little light into the darkness. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of light. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path. And there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? 
How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of a divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that add the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell. Farewell. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If she can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife. Lady Machin of Denver, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honored to lend its use to divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagas must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No. No. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> We face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellians actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? 
For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Yes. Good. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. It's odd to see them accepting a mage as their hero. First, we're too dangerous to let out of the circles. And then we're apostate rebels. But they seem to like you. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was a year or so for my harrowing, at least. The enchanters were being kind. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I liked studying. I liked performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the Veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Mages need protection. I wish more of them could see that. I was born into a Dalish clan. I lived there until my magic manifested. The Dalish cannot risk having too many mages in one clan. And I was one more than they could bear. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquils safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled, but the rest were forgotten. You know how the circle mages saw the Tranquil. They're just there to enchant items and keep the floors clean. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. That's an unusual statement. They're polite. They don't bother you if they don't need something. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. I'll speak with you later. Thank you again for what you've brought back. When there was no sky maker, you were the sky. the golden city, the center of all creation, and for a time you dwelled among them. Whoa. 
What do dwarves do when magic gets out of control? What we call the Templars, just like the rest of you. Even down in Orzammar? Friend, I've never even seen Orzammar. But dwarves don't have mages, so magic likely isn't a big problem. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Don't ask me. I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Um, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her? If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the Divine, helping people, but now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Any word? Nothing yet. Right. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. A 
at your service. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. You want me to walk into a pit of vipers and you ask me that? They're not vipers just because they like to hiss. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guess, Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people from us? Protect them from the blasphemous Herald of Andraste, I'd say. Surely they cannot think such a thing. Why not? They wouldn't be the only ones. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? 
I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense, not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady.